The Sudanese Christian woman who nearly died for her faith is now a free woman. Miriam Ibrahim arrived in Italy today following an extended stay at the U.S. Embassy in Sudan. Ibrahim's release comes just one day after a congressional hearing about her case. She is married to an American but faced the death sentence for apostasy and was being prevented from leaving Sudan with her husband and children. Religious rights advocates say her case is just one of many. She is the tip of the iceberg that for every one case of Miriam Ibrahim, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of those uh, uh, Sudanese and others that are victims of a draconian implementation of Sharia law that creates an existence for the Sudanese under the uh, leadership of uh, uh, President Bashir that is really an abomination on religious freedom. The United States needs to show more concern about religious hostility and persecution abroad, in particular the case with Miriam Ibrahim where uh, I, I think the, the response of the United States has been uh, woefully inadequate. At Wednesday's hearing, congressional conservative Chris Smith said the State Department is aggressively promoting gay rights at the expense of religious rights.